Hi, today on Heather's Closet, what's in my gym bag? Namaste. Hey, See, it's only this many steps to the front door of the gym. Will I go or not? Or go or stay? It's very warm in the car. Or go, because I want my ass to look good this summer. Being organized when you get to the gym is super important. Have you ever gotten to the gym and thought, oh my gosh, I should have brought this, or I forgot my towel, or I need my workout gloves? Okay, here's what I do. I pack my bag when I get home from the gym so it's ready to go for the next day. The only thing I add fresh is my water. Let's talk water. I have been pretty good about getting rid of almost all the plastic in our house and we're using reusable bottles. I love this one. It's glass, it's got rubber on the outside, but let's talk about the actual water inside because do you see this green stuff in there? Ooh, that looks good. You may think this is crazy, but I change what's in my water every day. Sometimes there's mint, sometimes there's lime, sometimes there's cucumbers. I love when there's cucumbers in my water because when you're done drinking the water, it's like there's a snack at the bottom. So what's in your gym bag? I always have my water plus a gel shot. Okay, I've never been a huge coffee drinker, although I am enjoying coffee right now. Terry's kind of got me on that kick. But I don't like to eat or drink before I work out because it makes my stomach hurt, but I need a little energy. These are my absolute favorite. Not sponsored people, just love them. I like the double espresso flavor of the Cliff Shots. It's this yummy, chocolatey, gooey thing. You just kind of squish it in your mouth and it gives you amazing energy. I take it about 15 minutes before I work out. Love, love, love. I always have lip gloss in my workout bag. I don't like dry lips, it drives me insane. I love this one from Philosophy because it stays on and it's minty. So it gives you kind of like a, an energized amount. Love it. Not one, but two towels. You know why? I like to work out with one, but when I leave the gym, it's got gym fomites on it. So I get rid of that one. And then I take this one in the car with me because it's fresh. It's super important to carry a bag with product in it to the gym. You need cleanser, you need toner, you need moisturizer, you need antibacterial hand sanitizer, and maybe a tampon, just in case. I always use workout gloves when I lift weights because if you don't, you're gonna get calluses on your hand and that is not sexy. Mm -mm. The last two things I keep in my bag are an extra pair of sunnies, just in case, you know, you wanna be a little incognito or a little fabulous, or maybe, you know, it's sunny outside. And I always have a little bit of cash. There's a really cute juice place next to my gym and I like green juice. Oh, I also like that lemon cayenne water. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I don't just have one gym bag, I actually have two. And that is because I have recently gotten into yoga. Okay, well, I wanted to take yoga because it's very clear that flexibility is very good for longevity. So I signed up for this yoga class. Strangely, there's not a lot of yoga in this yoga class I take. It's very, very hot and they use weights and it's an incredible toning sculpting class, but it's not really bong bong. I have a completely separate bag for yoga. First, I have my mat. This mat is actually super, super thin and isn't great for yoga, but two things. Number one, it actually fits in this really cute pocket in my bag. And number two, I borrow a mat at the yoga studio because that's what touches the yucky floor. And then I put my nice mat on top of it. So what's in my bag? I need a cushion for my knees. Gotta protect your knees. I have a soft mat that goes over the rubber mat. Oh, this is really important. Always have an extra bag in your bag for sweaty, yucky clothes or your dirty towel or your old gloves. So you put them in here and that when we get home, you can just dump it right in the hamper and then repack your bag. Yoga block, doesn't that seem so professional? 
Flip-flops, very important to have flip-flops when you're coming and going from yoga. Extra clothes. Okay, this yoga I take is so hot. It's like 100 degrees in there, which I love because you just feel like you're detoxifying your whole body and it makes you limber. But when you leave, you're drenched. Change your clothes. So that's what's in my bag. Remember, always repack your bag as soon as you get home because that way you're just ready to go the next day. Look, I know exercise can be a pain, but it is so good for you. You have to take the work off the table. When I get up in the morning, the first thing I do is I put on my workout clothes. No excuses. Drop off the kids, I go to the gym. If your bag is packed and ready to go, all you have to do is pick it up and go. I did it and I feel amazing. Oh, I'm totally glad it's over, but I feel amazing and now I can get on with my day. Have you ever gotten in the car after the gym and gone, oh, I wish I hadn't done that? No, of course not, because it feels great. My bag was packed, I was prepared, and now I am ready to go on with my day. See you tomorrow, Jim. Bye-bye, Jim. See you tomorrow. If you've learned nothing today, learn to be prepared. Take the excuses off the table so that you can work out. All right, and don't forget, hydrate. The most important thing is to hydrate, because remember what happens if you don't. I don't feel good. And you don't want that. Poor Terry. He's better. <laughs>